All right, we've got a special surprise just for you, our TV viewers. That's right, we got Miss Sunshine Anderson in the building. That's right. In her brand new album, Sunshine at Midnight. That's right. Miss Anderson, y'all remember the song? Heard it all before. Now, I used to work out to that song. No doubt. Religiously. No doubt. No doubt. How, Thank how, you. How are things been going? Things are great. I can't complain. You know, I'm, a, I'm in a great place right now. So what was it like with that first song <clears throat> that, that hit the charts that burnt up the Billboard charts, that first album? What was that initial feeling when you saw your song on the charts? I think it was just unreal, you know. It's almost that way now, you know, surreal. Like, this is really happening, you know, to go in the record store and see six of your CDs, you know, maybe more, you know, with a little Sunshine Anderson heading. That's just amazing, you know, so, yeah, great. Felt great, really great. So let's rewind it. How did you get started in the whole music business industry? Uh, I was actually a student at North Carolina Central University in Durham, on my Eagles. And um, I was in the cafeteria line. Um, a very good friend of Mike City's heard me humming a Lella Hathaway tune, Baby, Baby, Don't Cry. And he just, you know, went kind of crazy. You got to come meet Mike City. You got to come meet Mike City. And um, City came to the dorm to meet me. You know, I think that he, it takes a lot to impress Mike City, you know, so. He probably had had his share of young girls that were undecided about what they wanted to do when I had had my share of producers promising you all kind of things. So we were really cool and he liked my voice and we started to record soon thereafter. So Now was singing something that you had a passion for? You knew always. that this is what you wanted to do? Always, always. Didn't know how I was going to get there, you know, didn't necessarily know the avenue. But yeah, it was always in my heart, you know. I don't know if you remember Solid Gold, you know, I was mm -hmm. going to be on Solid Gold. Were you going to be a Solid Gold I dancer? Because be I was going to be a dancer. I was going to be a dancer and I was going to sing on the show. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always been a passion. Okay. So now let's go forward. So um, yeah. you were on hiatus. Yeah. For the six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what were you doing during that time? Uh, you know, in six years, I, I grew, you know, um, as anyone would in over five or six years. Um, and just needed to take some time to regroup, you know, and refocus. And, you know, if you know anything about the music business, you know there's good and bad deals, drama, you know, mergers. And I got caught up in a merger and a lot of paperwork, you know, you know, paperwork drama. It just kept me out of the limelight for a few years, you know. But um, you sometimes you need things to go down exactly like they do, you know. Um, I've learned so much and I'm in a better place now, you know. I've got the deal of a lifetime, so I'm good. So let's talk, you said paperwork drama. Um, I know a lot of viewers out there, especially in Atlanta, have dreams and hopes to get on with a label. Um, now let's say they get on with a label and they go through what you went through. Is there any advice or anything you know that you've learned from that lesson? Um, advice would just be, first, um, everything works well when, everyone, when everybody knows what's going on. Educate yourself um, with anything, not just music, you know. Um, if you want to go into nursing, I have my BS in criminal justice, you know. Um, there are so many avenues out here today, you know, we were just talking about that weren't out, out here when I was a child, you know. There's knowledge out there. Arm yourself with the knowledge. Know your craft, you know. Um, when you don't know the business of what you're getting into, your talent means nothing. Everyone is talented. I mean, there are plenty of people that are talented, you know what I mean? There's always that next fresh face, young face that they're looking for, you know? So um, know your craft, you know? know? Know what it is that you're getting into, um, you know, so that you can maneuver the right way. You know? So would you say that back then, did you feel like you knew your craft? No. No. I just wanted to sing. Um, I've learned in these five or six years that Sunshine Anderson is more than just, um, I hate to sound bad, but a puppet, you know. Um, you know, it's a, it's a business, you know. You have to, you wake up and you breathe it and you live it and you eat it every day, you know. And you have to act as such, mm -hmm. you know, to get what you want in, in the future. So, um, yeah. So what's it like working with Matthew Knowles? I know a lot of people out there probably want to know, you know what's yeah. this guy like. Yeah, Matthew's a great guy. Um, Matthew wants to win, um, and, and that's something that's definitely on my side. Um, I come from a very family-oriented structure. Um, being at Music World and working with Matthew is, you know, just like a home. Um, anyone that knows Music World knows that the office is, you know, in Houston. It's a house, you know. Um, it, it's like working with my father, you know what I mean? It's like being at home, you know. So it's really great. Um, you know, it's a partnership, and if people can listen to my songs and know that I'm a pretty headstrong girl, you know, I, you know, I, I don't have any problem being vocal, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, no, you know, Matthew doesn't run roughshod over me or anybody else. You know, he wants to win, and, um, you know, and we all have that understanding, and 
this is the first time that I've ever had a real family that works, that I know that each entity is working on my behalf. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That um, if I win, we win, you know? So, yeah, it's great. I love it. Yeah, it definitely seems like this go around, there's, I see a lot more creative control. Yeah. How important is that That's for very artists important. to have that creative control? That's very, it's very important to be able to be who you are, be yourself, you know, not have anyone take you out of character and do things that you wouldn't normally do or wear things that you wouldn't normally wear, you know, so it's really great. Yeah. Well, do you have any um, encouraging words, you know, maybe for somebody out there that's an aspiring R&B singer, you know, a female, especially our females, because I know this is a, a male-dominated yeah. industry, and they need to hear from our positive black women all that are the, really doing yeah, things. All the more reason you should know your craft. You know, you should know your craft. Um, you know, a pretty smile and a big booty, that's real nice, <laughs> you know, and um, that's going to get their attention, you know, but, um, you know, up here, you know, when you got the brains to go along with the beauty, you've heard it before, it really works. And, um, you know, I'm just bear witness that if you work hard, you can have whatever you want, you know, and you gotta believe and you gotta pray, you know. So, yeah, that's the advice I would give, you know. Um, arm yourself with the knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Definitely words to um, follow. All right, quickly, website information. Mm -hmm. Run down the album. Website information www.sunshineandersonmusic.com. <laughs>